Imagine running around as a horse, eating carrots, and working in your village, only to discover that there are predators and enemies out there. This is Hardcore Minecraft. On day one, I spawned in as a baby horse or a foal. I only have five hearts right now, but I can run a little faster than usual and I can jump over this fence. Oh, I also have a kick ability that can knock my enemies back. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting a bit hungry, so I took some carrots from the village farm. Hopefully none of the locals get mad at me. Yummy. I spent some of the day playing with my fellow horses. Two villagers even tried to sit on my back. What the? No, you're too big to fit on my back. Take this. I wasn't going to let some dumb villagers ride me that easily. On day two, I was approached by a village merchant. Uh, uh, uh. Sir, yes, sir. I set out to gather wood and stone to make a pickaxe and a sword, and did some more farming. I gave my extra materials to the villager, and he gave me more carrots. Thank you, thank you, man. Okay, that's, that's, that's calm down here. At the end of the day, we got raided by some pillagers. hey -ya! Get out of here! Oh no! Friends! Why are you hiding in there? I helped out as best as I could, and luckily, there wasn't many of them, so I was able to save the town. That night, I slept peacefully, knowing today, I was a hero. On day three, I woke up to a pleasant surprise. I ate some carrots, which helped me grow to a full-size horse. I suddenly had more hearts, and I could run even faster than before, thanks to these new running shoes. I bet you I could beat you in a race. All of a sudden, things went bad, and I saw the village on fire. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh no, 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 not the garden, not the garden. Oh my gosh, what? It was a beast, and it looked bigger and stronger than any horse I'd ever seen. You have no right to cage these animals. They're meant to live free. The villagers who captured them shall perish. You're right, but, but, but you can't hurt these villagers. I have no quarrel with you. Now get out of my way, fool. No. The beast horse used its own kick, sending me far away from the village. Oh my gosh, that, that creature. Now I have no home, and I don't know where I am. I swear, I'll get revenge on that beast. I'll grow big and strong, just like him. Just you wait. On days four and five, I wandered around aimlessly, not knowing where to go. But the whole time, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. I was afraid it was one of the many predators that horses have, like tigers. I continued on, but I found a pillager being mean to a donkey. Whoa. The pillager was hurting a poor, defenseless donkey. I had to help him out. What do you think you're doing? Leave him alone. That's what I thought. Aw, I know you're definitely worth something to me. You're gonna be my new donkey friend. Oh, buddy, of course you're worth saving. Here, why, why don't you follow me? We can be friends and, and build a base together. You, of course you can put your bed next to me. Yeah, come on, follow me. I decided it was time to build a new base and prepare for my battle against the beast. We started with mining for wood and stone so we can build a new stable. And while we were there, we gathered some iron and coal. Hey, hey, donkey, I wanna name you. Let's, uh, let's name you, you Doug. Yeah, Doug. We continued our work on the stable. We made it huge. And when we were finished, I dubbed Doug the watcher of our new home. We also built a new farm with pumpkins, potatoes, and most importantly, carrots. On day six and seven, I woke up to some weird sounds and I found out that they were zombies approaching my base. Hey, get off my property. This is my new home, stay away. Now that the zombies were gone, it was time to go home. But then, all of a sudden, I saw him across the field. The beast! It's you! Hey! Hey, get back here! I had to go after him. He went under, he went over here, he went over here. Wait! Where? Where'd he go? I traveled long and far, but even though I could run pretty fast, I lost his trail. It wasn't a total loss though, because on the way, I found some iron ore that I turned into some new armor. It's too dark out now. I guess I'll stay here for the night. This seems like a good spot to sleep. On day eight, I slept through the whole day and had the craziest dream. Oh, whoa, what is this? I was so buff. I could take on the beast. Huh? Whoa, check out how many hearts I have. And I have this crazy ax. Look at this thing. It's so powerful. Then I ran into the beast and I knew what I had to do. There you are. Why do you keep attacking me? Before it could attack me, I woke up. 
to Doug licking me. Hey, hey, that, that's kind of gross. Uh, on days nine and 10, I ran back to my new homestead and I passed by a village on the way. It's just like my old village, except for what is that material? Oh my, okay. As I approached the village, a villager greeted me. Oh, look at here, it's another horsey. Oh, but this one ain't got a saddle on. Oh, that's all right. Whoa, here, let whoa, me just scoop you on up there, little this strong? Ow, 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 you made me go through the wall, that hurt. Yeah, there you go. Help yourself to a little bit of hay, and then uh, I'll be right back. Ugh, this isn't fair. Animals shouldn't be in cages. There's just, there's gotta be a way out. Can we jump out of here? Jump? <gasps> I can jump out of it! Yes! I was able to escape, but I wanted to free the other horses. How do I... Oh! Hey guys, 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 guys! Come on, let's go! Once all the horses were freed, I made friends with one of them. He had awesome gold armor. I decided to bring him home to live with me. I wish I could wear cool horse armor like that. Come on, let's get out of here. What in tarnation? All my horses have been let out. Why, you little, you're gonna pay for that. On days 11 through 13, I arrived home and took my friend out mining. We came across a chest that had an interesting leather item inside it. Iron horse armor and saddle. Oh, what, what's a saddle? Sad deal. What is this? Oh, okay. Um, I put that on you. Oh my gosh, look at you. That's a weird looking hat. After playing around with the weird saddle, we continued mining for more ores and materials to build our base. We returned home and made some new additions. We brought some sheep to live on the farm with us, and I'm gonna use their wool to make a new shrine for the horses that were lost at my first home. Once night fell, I noticed something strange. Oh my gosh. You should be cautious for the beast is sending more creatures this way to hunt you. Huh? What sort of creatures? How am I supposed to fight them? You should consider traveling to other places to gain experience. Staying in one spot won't do you much good. What sort of places? How will they help me get stronger? Oh my gosh, uh, where'd he go? Who was that? Once the beast disappeared, I continued on to the house to find shelter for the night. On days 14 and 15, I woke up to find Jacob McRoy, the villager from earlier. He was outside of my base, trying to sit on my friend. Yeehaw! You didn't know what saddles are for, did you? I can control you boys even easier now. I'm out of here. Before I could stop him, he took off with Doug. Hey, let him go, get back here. I chased him to the river where he tried to cross. Thankfully, Doug couldn't carry him through the water and Jacob fell off. Swim, you stupid donkey. Oh no. Swim over here. Come on, let's go. I brought Doug back to shore and then set my sights on Jacob. How dare you? That donkey was mine. I jumped across the water and began to chase him down. Oh, oh, oh no, no, stay back. When suddenly the tiger appeared. Oh, 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 oh no, stay back, the tiger's gonna get you next. The tiger ate Jacob McRoy. Oh, oh, oh. While he was busy, I grabbed Doug and ran back to our house. What a close call. On day 16 through 20, Doug and I ventured down to the river to gather clay. Go Doug, go Doug. We wanted to build bricks to make our house look more like a barn. While we were replacing our old stone, I decided to give Doug his very own room. Hey buddy, here you go. Here, have some hay. I set down some hay in the stable for him and he loved it. Oh, no problem, Doug. I'm glad you love it. I wanted to turn the base into a refuge for animals, so I went looking through the jungle to find some new friends. Uh, man, it's so hard to walk around on trees when you're 1,200 pounds. Hey, it's a panda. Oh, it's a, it's a bunch of pandas. Hi. I bet you're happier with a roof over your head, right? You want to come live at my base? I thought I was making some good progress, but things took an unexpected turn. Oh my gosh, it's a tiger. The tiger began to attack the pandas. It's attacking. Stop it. Hey, no, I'm gonna kill this tiger once and for all. I knew it was finally time for me to stop him. Hey, get back here. I chased the tiger through the jungle, attacking him at any chance I had. Kick, kick. After a long, gruesome battle, I emerged victorious. The pandas seemed impressed that I was able to take down the tiger. So they agreed to follow me back to my base. I gathered more animals from different biomes, including parrots, cats, a moose, and a goat. Hey, Mr. Goat, you know, I, I know a lot about being a goat because I, I was one for a hundred days. Anyways, uh, this is kind of awkward, but you wanna, you wanna be roommates and come hang out at my place? 
Once we made it back home, we got everyone settled into their rooms, and they were free to roam as much as they wanted. Hey man, do you mind if I use your wool? I think it would be great for my horse statue. Thanks! I planted some trees to farm apples, and I planted some bamboo for the pandas too. We're going to need some extra protection around here. These golems are going to be a big help. On days 21 through 23, I couldn't help but worry about the beast attacking us again. I knew I had to train up, fighting mobs to get stronger. And the panda had some advice for me. Great, that, thanks for the tip. That's a great idea, here. In the jungle, I found some whisperers and some wave whisperers. Don't summon things. They proved to be a challenge, but it was nothing I couldn't handle. Ow, I'm poisoned. I found my way into the forest where I met some deer. Whoa, a deer. Maybe I should get these deer to come with me. Hey, you guys seem nice. Do you want to come live at my base? It'll be more comfortable than these woods. I was going to take them home, but then I heard a familiar voice. You must run. Whoa, it's that thing. Bronzo, you must run. An evil creature is pursuing you. What kind of evil creature? That thing does attack it. Deer, help me. I tried to fight it off, but it was too strong for me to defeat. Oh God, this is chaos. I had no choice but to run back home. Thankful that the hide behind had warned me. On days 24 to 26, I made it back to the barn, but there was no warm welcome. Hello? Guys, what happened? Where is everyone? Where's my golems? It's just the parrot. Where's the kitty? Where is everyone? Oh no, is everyone okay? What? I couldn't believe it. There was yet another powerful creature in this world that was out to get me. Join me if you want to see your friends again. What's in here? I found a map in the chest that showed the way to his base. I decided I had to go rescue everyone. Hey, you survived. Oh, Doug, I'm so happy you survived. My safety isn't my biggest concern. I won't sit back and let my friends be abducted. Uh, fine, I'll just, I'll do it myself. I gathered all the food, materials, and weapons I could carry and set off, but I wasn't ready just yet. I needed diamond armor before I faced my enemy. I went back to the base to say my goodbyes. Doug, I want you to have my old armor, just in case something happens while I'm gone. Thank you. Now don't, don't lick me again, that'd be gross. On days 27 through 30, I made the long journey to the mutant horse's base. I couldn't stop to rest overnight, so I fought any mobs that came in my way. Take that! You're all just warming me up for the real fight! Whoa, big kick? My kick is getting stronger as I train! Whoa! I came across a temple and looted it. It had a lot of great stuff inside. I also took the TNT, but before I started digging my way back up, a huge explosion happened. Oh my gosh. And when I came back outside, I met my next obstacle. Oh God, that thing looks scary, but I can defeat it. No problem. Okay, nope, <laughs> no, this thing doesn't go down easy. Uh, ow, whoa, oh my gosh. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, I'm out of here. I keep moving onward, following the map to my destination, but I could tell I was getting too tired to face my foe. I needed to rest before I arrived. I found this village and they had a statue of a horse. It looks like they might worship him. The one hero? Hey, I've been traveling for a long time and I'm really tired. Is there any, is there somewhere in this village where I can stay for the night? Uh -huh. Huh. Huh. Thank you. I'm gonna go in here. On days 31 to 35, I finally arrived at the mutant horse's base. And what I saw there made me really sad. <gasps> the parrots! Oh, and my, my goat friend and moose friend! I'm gonna get you guys out of here. Don't worry. You're free. Yeah, there you go. Hey, man. I'm gonna get you out of here. There you go, buddy. But I couldn't just let my friends out and leave. I had to face the mutant horse and defeat him. You again! What are you doing here? I was supposed to fight the beast! I am the servant of the beast. The last time we met, you could not defeat me. If you want to become strong like me and the others who serve the beast, then you must give up your friends and join our side. Not a chance! Oh, the Hirschgeist! Take that! The Hirschgeist was the toughest opponent I had faced yet. He was so strong. He made me wonder how powerful I could be if I did join the beast's army. But I was able to defeat him. Yeah, how does that feel? Looks like I don't have to join the beast to be strong. I got its skull. Look at that. 
I could put that on my display. I explored the base and found another map there, but I wasn't sure where it would lead me. That coward. He's leading me on a wild goose chase instead of just facing me. Well, at least I saved everyone. I better take them home. As we all left, even though I defeated the Hirschgeist, I didn't feel any satisfaction. I knew there would be a bigger challenge ahead. On days 36 to 39, I focused on expanding the base and worked on the horse statue. This statue is going to be incredible once it's finished. <laughs> I thought the pandas would feel more at home if their part of the base looked more like a jungle, so I tried to be more accommodating. There you go, guys. This place will look a lot better now. You're welcome. It was so peaceful. I almost forgot all about the dangers I was facing. That is, until the tigers showed up. Oh my God, it's so mad. Watch out, there are more of them. I can't do this alone. Uh, good job, Doug. Doug, help. I can't kill it by myself. How many animals are going to attack my base? I realized I hadn't slept the past few days because I was so busy building. It's all right, buddy. We can take them. You ready? Taking down the phantoms took a long time. Doug did such a good job fighting, but by the end of it, I realized he'd been hurt. No, are you okay? Let's go back inside. Come on, Doug. On days 40 through 44, I felt really bad that my friend got hurt while fighting by my side. So I stayed home and took care of him and the rest of the farm. I hope these apples make you feel better. It took a long time to grow them. It was definitely worth it. I kept chopping down trees until nightfall when I was visited by a familiar helper. Bronzo. Oh, you're back. You must have some new mysterious piece of advice for me. The space is vulnerable while you are away on adventures. If you go to the north, you'll find a tower where a skeleton trap often appears. Those horses may be willing to protect this space for you. Oh, perfect. A skeleton horse guard is just what this base needs. I left quickly, hoping the trip would be short. I couldn't leave my base vulnerable for too long. I arrived at the tower and waited for the skeleton trap to appear. On days 45 through 49, I woke up to the sounds of skeletons outside. They're here, finally. Hey, uh, someone told me you might be willing to live on my base and protect all my friends. Well, okay, I'll just deal with him then. Where could I find him? They agreed to let me take my chances against the mutant skeleton. They even disguised me as a skeleton horse so I could sneak up on him. With that, I set off to take him down and free the skeleton horse army. Whoa, this place looks so cool. Finally, I'm here. Now where would the mutant skeleton be? I snuck through the base and no one even questioned me thanks to my disguise. Just a regular old skeleton horse. Finally, I found him. He must be the boss. Ah, a servant horse. Good. Fetch me an apple juice. How about, instead of an apple juice, you get death. He was a tough opponent, but catching him off guard gave me a head start. We fought a ferocious battle. His huge arrows were scary, but thankfully, I was quick enough to dodge them. Take that. Yes. I almost got him. So close. Yes, I defeated him. Once he was dead, a skeleton horse came to thank me. I did it. Awesome, well, let's go back home. On days 50 through 53, I realized that having a skeleton horse guard was great, but they needed armor. I tried to craft some horse armor, but for some reason, I couldn't do it. Hey, does anyone know how to craft horse armor? It'll take forever to find enough armor for all these horses. Doug told me about a village that had a ton of horse armor. They would never miss it if a few went missing. I just had to be sneaky because their army was terrifying and their king was merciless. Whoa, look at that castle. It's huge. Now I have to act like a horse who isn't here to steal anything. Oh, more chests. Oh, jackpot. I'll grab a few diamond ones. Uh, just the diamond ones. That should be good. I gotta grab this armor and get out of here. Huh? You, you don't look intimidating. I, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm just gonna leave with this armor uh, if that's okay. What? Suddenly, a giant pack of feral wolves came charging at me. I had to get out of there fast. Oh God, I hate wolves. Get your teeth away from me. Ow, ow, ow. Oh no, oh no. It was a close one, but I managed to escape with the horse armor and I galloped home with my prize. Hey, hey, I got, I got the armor. Here, 
Take this one. Spread it out amongst your friends. Oh, why does everyone keep calling me that? My name's Bronzo. On days 54 to 56, Doug had an interesting story to tell me. You did? Well, where is he? I was furious. I went inside to confront the hide behind and figured out why he decided to sabotage me all of a sudden. Why would you try to steal from me? You shouldn't go where that map leads. It's too dangerous. I felt like I'd been caught with my guard down. I sent the hide behind away and told him to never come back. As you wish, but I only wanted to help you. I had forgotten about the map for a while, but I wondered why the hide behind tried to stop me from using it. I grabbed the compass I got from earlier, since my location was off the edge of the map. There, now I know which way to go. You wanna come with me, Doug? <coughs> with that, we set off to find whatever was at the end of the map. On days 57 through 60, Doug and I followed the map and compass to our destination. I knew that we'd be fighting some mobs, so I crafted some bows and arrows so we could finally have some ranged weapons. All right, give that a test run, buddy. When night came, the new weapons came in handy. We fought against creepers, zombies, and skeletons. <laughs> You're going to kill it, Doug. Nice job. On day 61 through 65, we reached the destination on the map. All right, we made it, but um, I don't see anything. <laughs> we were about to leave when a group of raccoons came over to us. Are you saying the thing on this map is invisible? So we started digging. It took a long time. I even had to stop and craft a new pickaxe for Doug. We were getting pretty tired. So we decided to rest before continuing the dig. Good thing we sleep standing up, eh? Don't even need to carry a bed around. On days 66 through 70, we entered the structure. We're in enemy territory now. So keep your eyes sharp, bud. It looked like a massive base and it was kind of scary. We had to fight off a lot of mobs, some of which I'd never seen before. Oh my God, what the heck is that thing? Careful, Doug, use your bow. We looted any chests we came across and we found some potions with fire resistance. So we used them pretty quickly. It took a long time to explore the entire base and we needed a rest before continuing. We built a wall to create a safe place to sleep. Good night, Doug. Please don't lick me while we're sleeping. On day 71 through 74, we continued exploring the underground base. We found some zombie horses in cages and decided to free them. Even though you're undead, I bet you still want to be free like I do. Who put you in here anyway? Oh, oh. dude, how dare you let my stalgies loose? Oh no, it's you again. Get those horses out of here, Doug. While Doug took care of the zombie horses, I fought the mutant zombie. You can't trap these horses. I don't care if they're zombies like you. They shouldn't be caged underground. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, oh, oh no. Ow, ow, ow. You launched me into lava. Oh, take that. Yes, we killed him. Wait, he's getting back up. What the heck? Careful, Doug, get back. We fought hard together. I thought we were about to take him down when tragedy struck. No! Doug! How dare you! You robbed me of my stalgate, so I robbed you of your donkey. I'll kill you for that! Ugh. When the mutant zombie finally died, he dropped two magic items. I better take these for later. But, but Doug, I didn't even have any time to mourn. Oh my gosh! Hello, fool. I've seen you slain my mutant zombie henchman, and they killed your donkey friend. <laughs> He's not half as strong as I am. Just think about that when you consider joining my army. He left before I could say anything, so I went home to prepare for Doug's funeral. On days 75 through 80, I had a funeral for Doug. The whole farm felt his loss. Here you go, buddy. You can rest now. I spent the rest of my time working on the horse statue and building a little version of Doug in his memory. I think he would have liked it. I wish he was still around. For days 81 through 85, I woke up to the sound of wolves growling. They were attacking my farm. No, I'm not losing anyone else on this farm. I remembered the item I picked up after the mutant zombie died and I knew it was time to equip it. All right, here goes nothing. Whoa! I turned into the huge buff horse from my dream. Whoa, awesome! Let's see what these new abilities can do. And let's check out this hammer. This Hulk hammer is so OP. I had so many hearts. These wolves had no chance against my hammer. 
<laughs> and my attack cooldowns were so fast. Wow, that felt amazing. You know what? Now that I'm super OP, I can do pretty much anything I want. I'm going to free every caged animal I could find. So on days 86 through 90, I ran as far as I could, freeing animals from tons of villages. But the villagers weren't happy about it. <laughs> hey, listen, you won't go hungry with these animals roaming free, okay? Here, eat a carrot or something. <laughs> I'm a horse. I like to run free, okay? So watch out. Nay. I didn't plan on it, but the animals I set free decided to come live with me. They said they wanted to do the same thing I was doing, fighting for freedom. You're all welcome to follow me, but I'm definitely going to need more stables to fit you guys in. For days 91 to 95, all of my new farm animals were crowding up my base. It was time to make more stables and expand the farm. So I went back to my horse form and got to work. I built different rooms for each type of animal, but no doors or gates, so everyone could come and go as they please and labeled everyone's rooms. Just make sure to welcome any newcomers and make sure everyone is happy. The zombie horses even found their way to the base, so I welcomed them with open arms. It was time to complete the horse statue, giving it extra details, and I did the same to the donkey statue. This way, Doug will always be by my side and remembered. On days 96 through 98, I traveled looking for more animals to live with, like emus, kangaroos, crabs, turtles, and a whole bunch of other creatures. I searched all kinds of biomes, from the extremely hot to the ridiculously cold. I ran into the raccoons from earlier again, and they had huge news for me. I, I am, why? The raccoon told me that the base is in the nether and that the best way to find it is to talk to the wither skeletons that live there. They will tell me where the beast's base is. I went home and gathered what I needed for the long trip. Some of the animals wanted to go with me though. I can't let you or anyone go with me. I can't lose any more lives to fighting the beast. I found a half broken portal to the nether and I fixed it up, lit it and entered to the nether. I searched for the wither skeletons, fighting different mobs along the way, like piglins and hoglins. Finally, I found the wither skeletons in their fortress. Oh, he he hello, I'm looking for the beast base. You know, the beast, the one with the one big arm. Oh, big arm, yes. He lives just past our base. Are you here to kill him? Y y yes yes I am. Good, he smells bad. Oh, okay, thanks. On day 99, I made it to the base, and I needed to be sneaky. I saw a cage at the front, and inside was the hide behind. What are you doing here? I betrayed the beast by trying to help you. Now I am in this cage. I knew you were bad news. But wait, you were trying to help me? I saw how evil the beast is, and I wanted to change my ways. The hide behind explained that he was supposed to lead me to dangerous places, so I would stay out of the beast's way. You should not have come. Even with your new strength, you cannot defeat him. I took pity on the hide behind and let her free. You have a choice. You can either help me fight or you can leave and never speak to me again. Disappointingly, the hide behind chose to flee like a coward, but it doesn't matter. It's time to finish this. It's now day 100 and time for the big fight. I found the beast and it looked like it was waiting for me. Have you come to your senses yet? Are you ready to join me and rule the world? No, I'm here to defeat you and make sure everyone is free. <laughs> You are naive, and now you must die. I used all my powers and became buff again. I used my hammer, my kick, and my quick attack, but it wasn't enough. The beast was so strong. My attacks are barely doing anything. <laughs> you were a fool to think you could defeat me. It was not looking good for me. I was losing a lot of health. I needed help. Suddenly, the hide behind came back and had a helpful gift for me. I'm sorry I left, but I needed to get you this. The hide behind tossed me a bow that could shoot flame arrows and had rapid fire. Now, it was time to defeat this beast. Uh, what is this? Take this. No! Yes. And just like that, the beast was gone and the world was free again. Thank you for saving everyone, Bronzo. How could I ever repay you? By subscribing, liking the video, and leaving a comment on what creature I should do a 100 day survival video on next.